Hi guys, welcome to or back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going through all the books that I've read this year and all the books that I'm going to read in the next couple of months. I've been wanting to make this video for a while because I recently got really into reading. I feel like I've always loved reading, but it wasn't until over the summer. I was working at a lab over the summer and I had a lot of free time. So I was just reading a lot at work and I began to really love it. So I'm gonna go through the books that I've read since the summer, which I'm not one of those, I read a hundred books in a month type of readers. I just find if I rush a book, I don't enjoy it as much and I like to take my time with books. Let's get started. So the first book that I read this summer was, I actually don't have it with me. I have a pile of books that I've read, but I don't have this book with me. I donated a lot of my books, not a lot, but some of them. And I read this book, but I donated it. Or no, I read this book, but it's at home. And I'm at college right now. So the first book that I read this summer was It's Not Summer Without You. It's the second book in the Summer I Turn Pretty trilogy and I really like the second book. I think the second book is my favorite out of all three. Basically it follows Belly and she goes on vacation a lot to their beach house in Cousins and they're really close friends with Conrad and Jeremiah and basically it's like a love triangle and Belly chooses between Conrad and Jeremiah and that basically is the whole story for the most part. The second book ends with Belly and, Con or Belly and Jeremiah being together and going off to college together at Finch University, I'm pretty sure. And Conrad goes to a different college, so. Yeah, I read that over the summer. I wanted to read it before the second season came out because I wanted to watch the second season. And so that's exactly what I did. I did really enjoy the second book. So let's move on. The next book I read over the summer was Love and Gelato. I also don't have that one with me because it's at home. I don't know why I brought it home. Why did I even bring it home? I don't remember why, but I loved that book so much. That book is amazing. I quite don't remember it. I like remember it, but like I, I suck at names, so I don't remember their names. <laughs> it's basically about this girl, Lena. So her mom's dying wish was for Lena to go visit her father. And her father has never been in her life. And so she flies to Rome to fulfill her mother's dying wish. And during her time in Rome, she lives at a graveyard that her father owns. She falls in love, obviously, love and gelato, duh. But it's really cute, it's so good, and it's one of my favorite books. I think it's my favorite, like, love romance book I've read this year. I'm not a big, like, rom-com person, but I do really love that book. It's so good. It's not necessarily a rom-com, but... I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a summer read. That book is so good. Okay, the next book I also don't have. I'm really good at this video so far. The next book that I read was Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. That book was so good. If you're a creative person at all in any way, if you like to draw, if you like to dance like me, if you like to sing, if you're into theater, whatever you do, like if you're creative, you can totally benefit from this book. It talks basically about like the main thing that I got from the book is that you don't have to necessarily be an expert or you don't have to necessarily be super, super talented in order to love what you're doing and be creative. For example, I'm a dancer and what it kind of taught me was you don't have to be the best dancer in the room in order to like to dance. Like you can love to dance and dance all the time, but you don't have to be the best dancer. And it basically just taught me how to use creativity to my advantage and to do it because I love it and not do it because I want to be the best at it. I read that book really fast. It's so good. So I'm going to give it, I'm actually going to rate these books real quick. So the second book to the Summer I Turn Pretty trilogy, I would give an 8 out of 10. Then Love and Gelato, I would give a 9. And then Big Magic, I would give an 8.5. The next book I read was 
Anna and the French Kiss. I read this because I heard it got a lot of great reviews. It's in a trilogy, I'm pretty sure, but I only have the first one. And I really did like this. I would probably give this one an 8 out of 10, maybe. I don't really know. I'm not good at ratings. <laughs> I don't really know. It's basically about this girl named Anna who is from Atlanta. And her father decides to send her off to boarding school in Paris. And she's not excited about it, which would be the opposite of me. I would be so excited, but she really did not want to go. For her senior year of high school, so she's basically leaving behind her best friend and her crush in Atlanta. Like, she has a huge crush on this guy in Atlanta. She is her best friend there. And she's, her dad makes her go to Paris. And she goes to Paris. It's kind of like an enemy. Is it an enemy to lovers? I don't, it's like a friends to lovers. Because Anna meets a guy named St. Clair. And they're friends at first because he has a girlfriend. But then eventually they start dating. Because... They have like this connection you already know so yeah it's really cute it she goes to like movies in paris they go walk around the city but if you are thinking about moving to europe i would read it i really liked it i thought it was pretty good the next book that i read th this year was will always have summer which is the third book in the trilogy of the summer i turned pretty i didn't like this book as much as the other two i thought that the ending was very rushed like i don't want to give any spoilers because you might be reading, wanting to read this, or maybe you want to watch the TV show, the last season. So I won't give any big spoilers, but I will say that this book made no sense to me. It was confusing to read. Basically, I'll, I'll read the back so I don't give any like spoilers. After two years, Jeremiah gets down on one knee and offers Belly what she has always wanted to, to be Belly Fisher. So basically, Belly and Jeremiah are getting married i just gave a spoiler about it's not really like the whole book is about that so they go to cousins beach to plan the wedding and basically belly the whole book is like i'm gonna marry him i'm gonna marry him and jeremiah kind of it wasn't super loyal like he wasn't very loyal like he was but as soon as they broke up they broke up for a second like belly and jeremiah broke up for like a week or something and he got with another girl and so that didn't sit too well with me um yeah so in the end you just you'll have to read to find out i would give this book like a four out of ten the next book that i read this year was fourth wing this book was so good and i really did enjoy it it's basically like divergent but it's a lot different it's like divergent because it's dystopian fiction but it's basically about I can't remember names, hold on. I literally read 500 pages of this book and I can't remember the girl's name. Violet. This book follows Violet who her whole life was planning to be a scribe but the last second her mom basically ordered her to be a rider which is of dragons, a dragon rider. She has to go through a bunch of different challenges and training in order to become a rider. Most riders don't make it through these challenges and training but uh, you'll see if she does in the book. I really like this book. She eventually falls for this guy. It's enemies to lovers, hardcore enemies to lovers, and I really liked it. There's a lot of spiciness to it, which I was not expecting because it kind of came out of nowhere. Yeah, I would have just read it for the plot even. So I really enjoyed this book. I would give this book a nine out of 10. I really did like it. It is scary and I'm not one to read a scary book or I'm not usually one to read fantasy. So yeah. The next book that I read this year is Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. I think that's how you say your name. This book has a movie adaptation and I saw the movie a long time ago, but I don't really remember it. And I got this book in one of the like book library little box things, like take a book, leave a book thing. And I wanted to read it. I really liked the beginning of it. It's basically about this girl named Louisa Clark who loses her job at a cafe and now is in search of a new job in order to help her family. So she decides to eventually work and help this guy named Will, who is in a wheelchair after a really bad accident. Eventually, Louisa and Will kind of fall in love and Louisa is trying to convince Will to stay. You'll have to read the book to find out more, but I would give it a seven out of 10. Last but not least, this is the book I'm reading right now, Twilight. I really wanted to read this because I don't know. I didn't love the movies, but I'm already on page 22 
and it's really good so far i like it so i'll have to read the rest to find out but now i'm going to show you guys the books that i plan on reading in the next couple of months so let's get started so since this video is already super long i'm just going to quickly go through the books that i'm going to read very soon it ends with us this book was a huge hit and it still is and so i bought it a while ago but i never got around to reading it and i had my mom mail it to me because she was sending me a package from home and so she put this in there and yeah this one i just got the other day um i got it also from one of those book box things and i didn't really read much about it but i'm excited to read this love hypothesis i started this but i never finished it firefly lane this is now a tv show on netflix happy place i really like emily henry's writing so i'm excited to read this this book i got at barnes and noble the other day it's called better than the movies this is definitely rom-com vibes so and last but not least the accidental beauty queen i hope you guys enjoyed this video i enjoyed making it and enjoyed showing you guys all my books that i have read so far this year feel free to leave me any book recommendations that you guys have i'm open to reading lots of different books this year i'll see you guys in my next video